Japan formally and finally apologized today for the way it treated hundreds of Canadian prisoners of war after the Battle of Hong Kong. But 70 years later, some survivors say it's not only a bit late, it's short-sighted. Ron Charles explains. 89-year-old George MacDonnell can't help but be reminded every night of the horrors he faced in a Japanese prisoner of war camp. This is the notorious Ohasi camp in northern Japan. He's turned his bedroom wall into a photographic memorial to it. You can see the Japanese uh, characters for my name. Sergeant MacDonnell was among 1,700 Canadians captured by Japan in the Battle of Hong Kong. The Canadian prisoners endured four years of disease, near starvation, beatings and slave labor in Japanese camps. By the time they were liberated, more than 200 had died, many more faced lifelong illness. Today, exactly 70 years after the battle, Japan has apologized. The apology means virtually nothing to us because of the Canadian soldiers who faced the Japanese at Hong Kong, only a handful, maybe 30 of us serves, about, are left alive. Ormidas Fredet is one of them, and also dismissive of the apology and still haunted by his time in the camps. Is the war over for you? He remembers a severe beating for refusing to work as slave labor in a Japanese shipyard. They beat us. I went on after a while. I lost consciousness. You know. George MacDonnell says he hopes the apology at least helps the Japanese people. It may mean that the Japanese people are finally going to admit their conduct during World War II. He says to him, that is of far greater importance than an apology so many years too late. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.